here's my version of the Mississippi Pot Roast. We have approximately four pounds of Black Angus Sirloin Tip Roast. So that's been rinsed off and patted dry. Now we're gonna make a little binder for our seasoning. And so our binder is gonna be pretty easy. A little bit of a uh, horseradish mustard. And a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. So we're gonna take our little binder there. Just, just be nice. We get a good coat on both sides. That way our spices stick to it nicely before it goes out on the grill. All right, that looks good. All right, so next we're gonna go over it with a little bit of uh, some garlic powder. Onion powder, and last but not least, if you've never tried this, as I highly recommend it, this Lane's Spellbound. This stuff is amazing. It's got a little bit of heat to it, but some great flavor. So we'll do the same thing on the side. Looking good. So we got it on. Got the thermometer inside. It's set at 165. So we'll come back and check on that periodically. salt put this garlic on right there it was already 106 so I think it's about time to turn this bad boy and see what we got looking good so far oh yeah Love it. All right, so this thing has been on for an hour and 20 minutes, and we are pretty close to being there. I mean, 160 is medium. I think we're going to pull this bad boy off and see how we look. 
Oh yeah. Looking good. Banana peppers. The juice and all. Then we're gonna add the life of the party. Can't go wrong with the Yingling. Okay, so while that's in the oven, we're going to go ahead and prepare our sauce. So there's some Asiago cheese. We're gonna grate it fresh. How much? I have no idea. Maybe like four tablespoons. And so we'll set that aside. And now we're going to come back. Remember our garlic. Oh yeah. Good stuff. So we're going to take one of these garlics and just squeeze. Wow. I wish there was smell the vision because the this smells amazing. And then next we're gonna take a little bit of the, you know, we're keeping consistent so that horseradish mustard, just about a teaspoon of it. A little bit of uh, Frank sauce again. About a teaspoon or two, probably two. And then some mayonnaise. Two, let's call it three heaping. bit of Italian seasoning, about a bean, and that's all she wrote. Just mix this up and squash that garlic. Wow, that's just like butter. And this has turned into Yes. It's just falling apart. Look at this. So now we're going to take some of that mayonnaise that we made earlier and spread it on the bun generously because this is. Yep. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna take some of that and put it on there. And just a little bit more. And finally, we're going to take some Monterey Jack cheese, put some on there, and put some on there, a little bit of Italian seasoning. And here we are, at the end of the day, very satisfying. Oh boy, this is delicious. Got the crispy crust. You hear that? Delicious.